What's up everybody, welcome back to the Batata TCG. I just wanted to update you about all the information we have for the booster boxes that are coming and their packs and what's going to come with every box of Battle of the Omni BT5. The BT5 will be dropping in August. So it is coming very soon. The MSRP is going to be $399. The drop date is going to be August 6th. There's going to be 112 cards, 44 of them are common, 30 of them are uncommon, 26 are rare, 10 are super rare, I'm assuming these are all the Omnis, and then 2 are secret rares, I thought those were alternate arts, but I think they're completely different entities, they're their own cards. So each booster pack contains 12 cards, and each box contains 24 booster packs. These are the box toppers that are coming with each box. You're going to get one tamer. Obviously, these down, these three d tamers at the bottom are very highly th thought, thought after. Thought after, but the top ones are really good too. These are tamers that have new abilities that gain you two memory based on uh, completing uh, certain uh, tasks. For example, at the start of your turn, this white Tai and Matt Ishida Tamer if your opponent has a level 6 or higher Digimon in play gain 2 memory so that's depending on how the opponent is playing it gives you extra memory and your turn all your Digimon with Omnimon in their name gain security attack plus 1 so that's really strong really good support for Omnimon next we do have Sora and Joe if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution sources in its play, in play you gain two memory at the start of your turn. Interesting. So, all these tamers activate based on certain uh, fulfillments that need to be required to be fulfilled. Your turn when you're attacked with a blue Digimon, you may suspend this tamer to trash up to two Digivolution sources. So, this tamer Sora actually synergizes really well with itself. It trashes its own. Digivolution cards and then next turn it gives you extra memory for the opponent having no Digivolution sources. And then this one is the start of your turn, the easy and Mimi. If your opponent has a suspended Digimon in play, <laughs> gain 2 memory, that's pretty easy to get. And then when you attack with a level 5 green Digimon, you may suspend this tamer to reveal a card from the top of your deck. You may Digivolve one green level 6 Digimon card among them into the attacking Digimon without paying its memory cost, place their memory, okay, 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 that's insane, so when you attack with a level 5 green Digimon, you suspend this Digimon, and look at the top card of your deck, if it's a level 6, you can Digivolve into it, into the attacking level 5, so that's a pretty risky card to play, kind of, again, like that rock smashing guy, ja Jaggermon or something, but uh, very 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 risky but <laughs> you have to attack with level fives but wow that rewards you a lot for 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 free if you if you get that level six the top of the deck so i guess if you can arrange the top of the deck that's very very good card and of course we have the other tamers here uh, the arata sanada works really well with the diaboromons because he needs unidentified uh, forms to gain memory, Nokia works really well with Omnimon and Garurumon and Greymon, and Takumi works really well just in general. When one of your Digimon Digivolves, you may suspend the stamina and gain draw one. If a level 3 Digimon gains, if all turns, all your level 3 Digimon gain when attacking, lose one memory. Wow! All level 3 Digimon gain when attacking lose one memory, even your own Digimon. Very amazing tamers. They're going to be very useful. Beach 5 is already going to be insane. And let's see the pricing that you're going to be getting actually for just for participating in pre-release tournaments. So this is exactly what we're going to be getting. We're, we're going to be all just for participating. We get a Chimera Mon alternate art, which is insane. This is a really sought after card. Obviously, the official Digimon pre-release events are back, so they're actually allowing events. They have two options, if it's safe and legal to run events in your country, or, or region as a store, you may choose to run in-store pre-release events. We just ask you to provide a clean environment for players. 
in stores in America and Europe. Please kindly submit the event reports via the web of TCG Meister for any events you run so we can track store activity. You may also run the event online. That's the option number one. Option number two, if you're unable to run the event because of the current coronavirus pandemic, the store is pro uh, allowed to provide promotional material to players as a purchase incentive. When a player purchases a product to the value of your standard tournament entry fee, we ask you to report your events with zero players in attendance in this situation. So as long as these you have players, so you have two options as a store. You can either make actual tournaments and conduct them, or you could just uh, give out this promotional product based on how many people are buying your product. So looks like the pre-release is scheduled from July 30th to August 5th. That's when the pre-release should be happening. Every player that purchases one booster box during the pre-release will receive one additional pre-release pack. Pre-release pack basically just has um, two cards of of every common and rare in BT5 stamped. That's all it is. But this is really what we're looking for. This is the money card. This is the participation card, the Chimera Mons. For, every, for participating, you get a Chimera Mon. That's really insanely good. And then I guess if you win the tournament, you're allowed to get this uh, parallel design alt art Aero Vidramon, which looks super cool. And uh, if you play all four Vidramon, which should be strong very soon, you will, you will need this. So ultimately, there's really exciting things happening with the drop of the Battle of the Omni box. Uh, there's a lot of events that are going to be occurring, good pricing. And the box itself is actually very useful. It changes a lot of decks and uh, updates a lot of strategies up. So stay tuned, guys. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram for all the Batata stuff that you need to stay in touch with. Besides that, guys, I'll see you later. Take care.